Jumri Suo, Kyomucho Christina. Hi everyone, my name is Christina. Kumustaka, how are you? My name is Denea. And we are celebrating API Month here at Long Beach Public Library. And we're back for another food talk edition, but it's a dessert edition. So we're going to be looking at some sweets from uh, Filipino and Cambodian culture. So I'm not a sweet tooth person, but um, I have a couple desserts here that I want to share. And when I think of desserts, it brings me back memories of my childhood. And my mother had such a sweet tooth. So when I have these, it makes me think of her. Ooh, uh, I'm the opposite. I love sweets. My family loves sweets. And we always have it at our parties. So it was really, really hard for me to actually pick a dessert because I was like, oh, I want to show this one and this one. And there's all these different types. So I had to narrow it down actually to this one that I really only see when I'm at parties um, and during the holidays. Um, but you can also find these at bakeries now, but um, the only time that I actually eat is when it's at parties. So when I go to a party, this is like, I get really excited when I see this. Um, but yeah, let's start off with you. Sure, let's go ahead and dive right in. So I have here two desserts to showcase for everyone. The first one here is called Nom Kroi, and the second one here is called Chik Ti. So this one right here, the Nom Kroi, is made out of rice, flour, sugar, mung bean, sesame seed, and salt. So what it is, is a combination of the sugar and flour and rice that's mixed together to make a dough. And then inside we stuff mung bean paste inside and we deep fry it and then we um, powder it with the sesame seed and salt. So it's not as sweet as a dessert, but it is best eaten when it's served fresh and hot. Um, and this dessert right here is called Chake Thi. Um, the Chake is actually plantain um, inside. Um, this is tapioca pearls and it's all mixed in with coconut milk. And this is also served hot. And that's the best way to eat both these desserts. Those look like very delicious. Thank you. Okay, now it's time for me to show you my dessert. Okay, so for my one dish, I'm going to be showing Bugu Pandan, which is a favorite Filipino dessert that is um, actually originated from the island province of Bohol. It is a staple dessert for most Filipino gatherings like fiesta, celebrations, and holiday parties, like I mentioned earlier. And um, so what Bugu Pandan means, Bugu means unripe coconut, and pandan is often called fragrant screw pine or vanilla grass in English. Um, it's a tropical plant that grows freely in many parts of Asia. Um, so that's why it's like green. A lot of, you can also, um, if you don't, can't find the plant, they also have just the flavoring. So um, it depends on, I guess, uh, how you want to make it. Um, and so it's, what else can I say about it? It's delicious <laughs> and very sweet and it's very good cold. Um, so what's in it is actually there's, you can use pandan leaves to, um, to soak with the gelatin. Um, but if you can't find red, fresh ones, they also, you can also find frozen ones at the market and you use shredded young coconut. So you see those stringy things in there? That's actually the coconut in there. Um, and there's unflavored gelatin or gulaman. Um, you can also buy green gelatin to make it like a little bit more of a traditional green color. And there's tapioca pearls sometimes that you can add or um, people use coconut jelly. So it was really neat to see your dessert, Christina, where you had the tapioca pearls. I'm like, oh, this is, you know, there's always so many similar things. Um, and then you can also add, or you should add, sweetened condensed milk and table cream to make this wonderful dish. And I really love it because I can eat a lot of it. But it is very delicious. But yeah, uh, that's my dessert. And now let's get back to seeing our wonderful faces. Thank you for joining us for Food Talk Dessert Edition. If you'd like to try any of these, please visit your local Cambodian and Filipino bakeries. And if you want any great book recommendations, definitely check out our hashtags for AAPI Month. See you next time. Bye! Bye.